Disclaimer, this video contains violent and disturbing content. Epilepsy warning. Former police officer Ian Ford and his wife May were recently reported missing. When police went to their farm to investigate, they found an awful stench coming from the barn. Inside, they found the brutalized corpse of May Ford. She had been handcuffed to a pole inside one of the stalls. However, her hands had been ripped right off. Even though her body had been badly mangled, tests showed that she died from internal bleeding. A dead horse could be found within the same stall. The cause of death was heart failure due to a sildenafil overdose. Inside the milk house, police found a bloody mattress. Sildenafil citrate was found scattered around the mattress, along with used bandages and packets of penicillin. Someone had been sleeping here for some time. The decapitated head of the Ford's granddaughter was found wrapped in a blanket. The head of Fiona Ford. The worst smell came from within the second stall of the barn. Several faces were found nailed to the walls inside of the stall. Some of them belonged to previous victims, malformed beyond recognition. There were also several decapitated pig carcasses. In the middle of the stall lay an abnormally large pig. Its belly had been sliced open and then stitched together again. Stuffed inside the pig carcass, the police found the corpse of Ian Ford. The pig's eyes had been cut out and replaced with the eyes of Fiona Ford. Inside the back room, police found the rest of Fiona's body, along with several disturbing paintings. These paintings depict Fiona, Ian, and May, along with an alarming amount of other victims. Be warned, these images may be very distressing. Here are the paintings and their titles. Breeding Mount May, Wet Skin George, The Jigsaw Baby, Ian the Pig, Blowhole Isabel, Hide and Zeke, Four Holes Fiona, Breathless Janice, Fleshhead Fred, Tina the Waitress, Observing Paul. If you know who any of these people could be, please contact 985-455-9560. A heavily damaged tape was found in the mud outside the barn. Even though the tape was almost completely destroyed, police were able to recover some of the footage. This is what was on the tape. Holy shit! Do you know what this means? Cause I don't. Real quick, if you haven't seen my other videos about the analog horror series from Urban Spook, covering the videos Faces, In the Walls, The Clue, The Lighthouse, and The Witness, go check it out and the original videos out, because this will be confusing without context. If you're not gonna do that because you suck, here's an oversimplified rundown. A serial killer has been murdering people and documenting his crimes using paintings and photography as a medium. He has continued to do this even when his investigation was publicized and gained media attention, and began to toy with, and even murder the people investigating him. Some think that this killer may be trying to send a message with his brutal murders, and that someone is me. As it stands, he is still an active killer, and there are many paintings out there depicting victims that are unaccounted for. Got it? Good! With that out of the way, let's see what we can gauge from this new entry into the series. First off, Let's get this out of the way. Sildafinil or whatever the fuck is another name for Viagra, aka boner pills. Mine works fine, I know from googling it smartass. Feel free to comment it anyway, engagement is engagement. This means he was giving boner pills to a horse. Obviously enough to make it overdose and die is enough to make it hard. So let me put these pieces together for you. The painting was called Breeding Mount May. She died from internal bleeding, five feet away from a horse that died of a Viagra overdose. Is this killer using a horse to fuck people to death? Cause there is no cock like horse cock. That's kind of hilarious. Like it wouldn't be if it was real, but because this is just an analog horror, it, it, come on. It's funny enough that I say we just let him go. Like I thought I was making a sick joke before I realized it's what actually happened. Let's move on from this because I could make horse dick jokes for hours, but that's not what you guys clicked for. Wait, is it? I never know with you guys, because it might be. Next up, we got the several faces that have been stapled to the walls. I really like, um, how you decorated your house. 
These belong to several victims that have been defaced that we know about, and likely a few others. Okay guys, be on the lookout for someone with no face. I was gonna draw a depiction of their face to help, but, um, you know, that's kind of a moot point. So everybody just be on the lookout for this still watermarked stock image of a raw steak. The killer now has switched to primarily targeting cops and their families. Bold move. Also, let's talk about how he stuffed one pig inside of another. See what I did there, cause he's a cop? Don't know why he replaced the eyes of the pig with Fiona's eyes? It's likely something related to his strange art house style message that he may or may not be trying to put out there. Don't exactly know what that's supposed to say, but he definitely got creative with it. Also, um, from Four Holes Fiona, it's very likely that he was, um, using eye holes for something that eye holes aren't usually used for. Yeah. At least I don't have to say she'd never unsee it. I heard of somebody I fucking, but this is ridiculous. This video would not be complete without examining the new paintings. As is his MO, he depicts each of his brutal acts in gory and cartoonish forms. Also, after counting above 10, which I'm very proud of, this adds 11 more victims to our total body count. 11 more paintings. So basically, wherever this killer is, people would just be disappearing left and right. Like deadass, you would have a labor shortage at this point. Either the police are idiots, or the man is just ungodly good at hide and seek. Finally, let's take a look at our killer, the Homicide Unit's number one special boy, future death row inmate of the month, yes he is, yes he is. Here's our goober, his mouth is stinted open at the sides by staples. I just thought this was notable and wanted to make sure you're learning and having fun. Also, was he saying something on the tape? Unfortunately, there aren't any clues in the closed captions, and I couldn't decipher anything. This is the moment in which I call upon the masses to do my work for me. Come on, figure it out. There is one thing that many of you have not noticed upon first watch. I certainly didn't. There's likely Morse code in this video. I don't know how to read Morse code, nor can I extract it past the music and send it through a translator. I don't know where every message is exactly, but I found examples of it. If anyone can decipher the message under the music, please leave your finding in the comments below. The following are moments where I believe the Morse code to be. 2, 12. 229 306 Good luck soldiers, and yes, I do have the authority to assign you homework, suck it. I feel as though there is some sort of message in these killings, and maybe the codes are the clue. Hmm. This is all I can really gauge thus far, and we may have to wait for more information before this is solvable. But hey, if you can figure it out, be my guest and let me know. If you like this video and want us to come back and check out the rest of this fantastic analog horror series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. Or maybe you'll get a nice new portrait of yourself. Shout out Urban Spook for making this great piece of media. Shout out the Inner Circle. Love y'all. Alright, bye.